In this third tutorial, we will make some final adjustments to the materials. Before starting with that, let's choose what color management look we will use. For this example, let's pick filmic and the high contrast look, but feel free to choose the other looks as you like. Now go to the Sclera corner material and on the settings enable subsurface translucency. With this option enabled, let's set up the subsurface on the shader editor. Plug the base color on the subsurface color and add a hue saturation value node. Change the hue to 0.485 and the saturation to 1.5. Increase the subsurface value to see the effect. Let's choose the crystals and burley method for the sclera because it produces less noise on cycles renders and it will make no difference on the quality of our shader. Now go to the iris pupil material and on the settings enable the subsurface translucence there too. And again, plug the base color map on the subsurface color and add a hue saturation value node, then change the hue to 0.485 and the saturation to 1.5. On the iris, you can add a specular tint. Especially for cartoon stylized characters, this effect will make your eyes look nicer. Now increase the subsurface value to see the effect, but this time let's choose the handle walk method. Because the iris has more tiny details and this method preserves more details. After this setup, we need to configure the subsurface radius. To do that, I create a cube and scale down until it fits around the outer eye. Then I go to the end panel and use the scale value there. Back to the shader editor, I enter the scale value on the first input of the subsurface radius. Then on each input, I divided the result by half. These inputs represent R, G and B values and by doing this way, you will have a flash organic look on your eye. Use the same values of the subsurface radius on both materials and we are done with the configuration of our shaders for both EV and cycles.